Hi everyone, this is Richard. Let's talk about object-oriented programming. Dart is an object-oriented language. Some languages are not, Dart is. The other kinds of languages are procedural or functional types of languages. I'm not going to go into much detail, you know, probably because I can't too much, but at the same time, that's just the name, the term you'll be hearing throwing around a lot, object-oriented programming, with respect to Dart. Sometimes they initial it OOP. Now, when you think about um, Dart, all things in Dart are objects. What does that mean specifically? Well, let's take my classical example is a cake. If you have a recipe for a cake, you have an idea of it, right? But now the problem with this is if you specifically want information on the cake itself, so you want to actually review. Somebody asks you, hey, what was the cake like? You really can't answer too many questions, right? Because you never actually made it. So they'll say, "What's what did it taste like? Was it good? Was it bad? On paper, it looks good, but did it really taste good? How big was it? How many slices was it? What color was it? You can't really answer questions if it's just an idea, right? As soon as you make the cake and you turn it into a thing, you take the idea and you turn it into a thing, now you can do stuff with it, right? You could taste it and say, oh, turned out pretty good, or no, it was a little bit too dry. You can actually make assessments about it. Same thing with pro um, object-oriented programming languages, specifically Dart. Let's talk about that. So let's just say I have the variable a equals 1, and I'm using dynamic, dynamic typing on purpose because I'm going to change this around. It just, it's less typing for me. And as you could probably tell, I'm not a, a typing expert here, okay? So a equals 1. Now, we know a has the value of 1. But we, if we can create, think of it as an object, now it's now a thing. It's not just an idea of a variable. It's an actual thing. What can I do with it? Well, let's just say we know the value, right? So if we say print a, the value is 1, right? But if a is a thing, what else can you do? Well, you can say, hey, ask it, is the value of a even false? Because it's not. What am I actually doing? If this is an object, and you create, and everything in Dart is an object, by the way, if you create an object, then you can start doing things, either manipulating it or asking questions about it. In this particular regard, we're asking a question about what this actually is. Is it even for the object? And how the syntax goes is that it's the object dot method. And this is called a method. Another name for it is a function. It's what you do to the object. So I have a thing, I have a cake, and then I eat it. And I could say, is the cake is good, right? So I could say, is the cake good? And true or false, right? I could say, is moist? And stuff like that. So that's the syntax for Dart and object-oriented programming. So the object again, is even. The, the method applies to the object just left of the dot. So object dot method. And, and there's some other things that we can actually do here. So we could say, if you want to use autocomplete, control space. Okay. And let's just say you want to round it. Well, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Absolute value. What's that? It's one. Uh, that doesn't make much sense, but if you remember absolute value, minus 1, it's still 1, right? And I hope that was not new news. If not, if you haven't got that far in math, then perfectly fine. You can truncate, which means that if it was a double, so 1.05, and you truncated it, it would be 1. Um, bit length. What's the bit length? 0. It's zero bits. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I haven't really used that before, but yeah, it was neat to know. And you could kind of play around with this thing. Um, is it finite or is it infinite? Is it infinite? That should be a false, right? Play around with this and see what, how, what you can actually do with this. Now, not only that, when you think about it, when you have an object and you have a method, you do what we call return something, 
Okay, and what we return is a specific value. So is finite applies is the method for the object A, and it returns the value of false. So if we take a look back here, what is the ob what what is returned? In here, when it returns is finite, is infinite, is N -A -N -A -N is not a number. Um, that's a whole different ballgame. We'll go through that maybe much, much later. Um, is finite, it's a finite number, right? It's not infinity. It's like 1 divided by 0 would be, that might be either infinity or it might be not a number. Um, and, and so when when we use the method to the object, we return a value. In this case, it is a true, okay? The reason why I'm saying that you return something is this becomes an object in and of itself too. So remember I said everything in Dart is an object. So method for the object, now this becomes the object also. So I could put a dot and what else could I do? I could turn it into a string. So this is a bool, now it's a string. Now it's a string, this is the object, right? So this is the method to string convert this object to a string and now you got a new object which is the same thing but this is a string how do i know notice these things these auto completions are different from each one from an int to a bool and now it's a string now i could say the length what's the length of this string it's four right four and now this object is of type, because it because it returned a four, of type int, right? And I could start the process all over again. I could say is fine infinite just like or is finite just like right here. So the, the method always applies to the thing directly to the left of it, not way over here, just the method directly to it. So you have a int bool string length of the string and key, and so on and so on. What, what I many times like to do is runtime type. If I ever get confused and say, what type is this? Uh, this is length, uh, is that a bool or a int or a string or something? I could do runtime type, it's an int. So if we go here, remember if we print a.infinite is true, to string is true also, this is a string, but if we delete all of these, what is this value gonna be? It's a bool, right? A bool, right there. Okay. Now, once in Dart, once you instantiate something, the auto completion will help you out. See, length as opposed to if I did one, the auto completion. So once you um, initialize it, did I say instantiate? Initialize it. It actually does help you out along the way. But what if, for example, you simply said var a, the help is not so much, is it? So that's where it would really help to use dynamic, I mean, static typing. So if I said string a, auto completion will help me out in that regard, right? So this is one val one set of values. Or if I said int a, again, control space, it will give me a different set of autocompletion methods. All right? So that's the concept of object-oriented programming. We create things into an object. We make it a thing. It is a thing. And then we can start doing things with it asking questions, manipulating it. Remember before, we were able to turn something into a string, and it returned a string, or we can ask questions about it. It's the same thing like if you tell, you know, if you have a cake, you can either ask questions about it, is it, does it taste good, how many pieces is it, or you can do stuff with it. You can get the cake and put it in the oven again, you can throw it in the trash, you can put it in the refrigerator, you can eat it, right? So those that's what the methods can actually do. So if we could start thinking in that way of these are all objects, it will help us with understanding where Dart is going in the future. All right, so I hope that was helpful. And let's just keep going along with this. Thank you.